Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Heck and Ness. What's up, y'all? And today we're going to go over the Jordan 6 Brazil edition. Right? So this is my personal pair. I felt that uh, it was important to go over the shoe because not a lot of people know about the shoe. They don't know where it came from. Um, it was a quick strike release, so it wasn't in every single door. And the fact that this colorway is fire and the shoe is a sleeper, you know, I thought it was important. So first of all, the shoe came out in June uh, 2014. It came out for the World Cup. It was hosted in Brazil, which is why they went ahead and did a uh, double pack with this and the CP3. Right. CP3 was trash. This uh, five hundred dollars retail. It was it was even more trash. <laughs> this <laughs> was hot, right? So, not a lot of people picked it up based on the price point. Um, you know, it, it was like very lopsided. This was like a four hundred dollars shoe, while the other one was like a one hundred dollars shoe. Um, so if if, if and, I, and I'm glad that not a lot of people did because. There's less of these on the streets. And to be honest, I'm actually surprised that Nike released this since, you know, we all know Brazil lost. I don't know. I mean, it was, I love the shoe. I don't know why they released it, but, you know, it's better for us because we like the shoe. <laughs> yeah, and it's a still it's still a dope-ass story. Right? Yeah. So let's talk about the Jordan 6 in general. Sure. Um, As we all know, as well, not all of us know, the Jordan 6, the upper on the Jordan 6 has a little theme behind it. It has the 2. You can't really see it, but right here it has a 2. And then a 3, which is 23, which is Michael's number. Which is a little a good fact to know about the Jordan Six. You know, it came out in 1991 originally. It had five colorways. It had the um, the maroon sixes. It had the carmine sixes. It had the sport blues and the black and white of Freds, which came out recently too. Um, I love this shoe. He won his first championship with this shoe against against Magic against the Lakers in '91. You know, it, that was his first championship to, uh, to complete his first three P. You know, then he later on went to to win his uh, second three P. So you know, I love this shoe. I love the quality on the shoe. This is a this 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 quality right here is a remastered quality. Like what they're doing, uh, what's Nike doing? You know, this year with the with the sevens, with the fours. This is a remastered sneaker. I mean, you know, that's why that's why the price point I think was that high. But I mean, so if, if you pick it up for a good price, it's worth it. To be honest with you, so, absolutely. Yeah. So much like Ness said, the shoe came out in '91. Um, at that time, this was the last of the Nike Air. Right on, on uh, Jordan Six. Everything else before it came with it. Everything else did not come with Nike Air anymore. Right, except um, for the ones and the twos. They did not have Nike Air. Threes, fours, and fives, sixes. They had Nike Air. Yeah, exactly. Which is pretty dope. I love the way the Nike Air looks on the shoe. Um, I wish they would have. You know, they do bring it back every now and then with retro. Sometimes very sporadic. Um, so you know, hopefully they do it again. But nonetheless, Brazil Six. So the Six is a really dope shoe. You've got leather, suede. And the splattered paint, which is, again, Brazil-themed, is textured, right? So you can actually feel it on the shoe. you got the lace locks with the same exact colorway to complement, right? Yellow with that green. The Jumpman logo. I love the fact that the tongue it's is black. black. Now, my reason being is because I love to preserve my shoes. I wear my shoes. And that being said, this will not turn yellow on you. You understand? The first thing that I notice on a shoe is yellowing. It really does bother both of us when a, when, a, when a shoe is yellow. Yeah. To be honest. So the only really wear you'll see on the shoe is the clear bottom. You know, you'll see oxidation right. over time. That's inevitable. You know, they got tons of stuff out there for it now. But nonetheless, the shoe is going to maintain its integrity. It's going to look really good. You know, very minimal creasing based on the fact that you have leather and suede going on. And this is like this shoe is worn. You know, this is my personal pair, like I said. But. When you have a lot of shoes and you can, you know, keep them in rotation and wear them every now and then, they kind of do maintain yeah. their integrity. One shoe that I do want to compare it to is um is actually right over there. It's is the um history of Jordan Six, as we all know, the Spit Like Six came out recently. I want to compare it because the quality on the leather on it too is very very good. You know, very very good quality, just like this one. You know, I wa I wanted to bring that out and um yeah, as we said before, as Heck mentioned, the quality on this is. Sub so is just it's just great quality. It's as I said, it is remastered quality. So you know. Yeah. So some of the dopest shoes that came out for 2014 have been sixes. You know, they've been quick yeah. strike releases. Things like the Brazil Six, Champagne and Cigar Pack, exactly. uh, the Slam Dunk Sixes. Right. That history of Jordan Six. You understand? Exactly. Um, as we all know, you know, last year was the year of the six. The year before that was the year of the five. You know, 23 anniversary. That's what we call the you know the year of whatever shoot. This year, the year of the seven. You know. Bordeaux, Olympics, French Blues, which are coming out, you know, in a couple weeks. Yeah, exactly. Actually, next week. So, you know, yeah. like we said, the price point was tough. $500 yeah. for that, you know, pack, the CP3. You know, it was you had to kind of dump that out because it wasn't really worth anything. As I see it, $400 for that, $100 if that for the CP3. Yeah. To so be honest. If you haven't picked it up, 
pick it up. The shoe looks really dope on feet. You right. know, it's uh, it's got a really stealthy look to it with really nice accents. You know, it's very right. bright. Looks good with joggers. Looks mm -hmm. good with sweatpants. You know, you can really you can crush this shoe. You right. understand? And so, I, I, one thing I do want to say, I know we mentioned it in our last video, but this shoe. To find a dead stock in two, three, four years, it will it will be a pretty penny to pay. All right, it's gonna be at least four hundred dollars to pay for a good condition shoe. More, it's it, it, especially if you yeah. if you can split the pack up. Because exactly, this is the shoe that's worth money. The other one's not. It's really not. So, so if I you, see this one going up to like five, exactly. six hundred by itself. If you like this shoe and you and you really want it, please get it now because you're not gonna find it for a good price later on. You're really not. I'm looking for it and I can't find it. So. And I was able to pick up mine by itself, so I'm happy. Exactly. Um, I don't know why the, the guy actually. I, I, I traded this shoe actually. It was it was dead stock when I got it. Um, I forgot what shoe I even traded him for. I believe it was the champagne. Champagne, champagne which was a dope shoe by yeah. itself also. Um, but I felt the champagne was out there more for some reason. Believe it or not, um, a lot of people picked that shoe up. Yeah. I like this one better. And trust me when I tell you, I've seen more people wearing champagnes than this one. Um, and I have not. And I have not seen people wear the champagne. That meaning that you will see even less people wearing the you know the Brazil. Exactly. When I wear this shoe, it, it, I think it's so rare that people think it's fake. And I, yeah. I tell them the story behind it. You know, I mention the pack or whatever. Then they believe me. <laughs> exactly. You know, so um, it's a dope shoe. Pick it up. Brazil Sixes is definitely a winner in our eyes. Exactly. It's to be honest, it's one of my favorite models. Between that, the thirteen, maybe the five. The mm -hmm. six is just one of my favorite models. Hell the yeah. Carmine is my favorite shoe of all time. You know, uh, when Jordan does these quick strike releases, I think they really aim to wow everybody because exactly. on the normal lineup that they have, although it's good, they kind of really look for that wow factor, <laughs> right? So, you know, here's a normal, normal lineup behind us. Exactly. Again, we're going to continue to do our best to bring you shoes that have not released um, as, as, as quickly as possible now that we're doing reviews. Right. We had this um, Jordan 4 for uh, for ladies, for actually for girls that's coming the GS, out. GS, right? Exactly. GS size is coming so, out. Here's the four. Here's a quick little, right? Just a quick run around the shoe. We'll see if we get a uh, nice, you know, GS like size seven for you, so we can do a good review on it before yeah. it releases. Again, today is January 18th, and we're kind of just showing no, you some of these exactly. shoes ahead of time, right? So, yeah. getting our feet wet, you know, in this YouTube world, you know. Yeah. So uh -huh. have fun, you know. Um, we thank you again for listening. You know, you guys have options out there. Continue to, you know support us hit like on it you know. tell people about us we're gonna you know try our best to bring you reviews on shoes that you want to yeah, see give, give us you know your input in the comments below you know give us all of that you know we want to hear it want to listen to it want to we want to read it you know and if you got anything dope listen i wear size 11 from 11 through 12 i wear a 10 and a half to throw okay so please, please, you want to make some trades hit exactly. us up interested you know let us know again heck ness all right man thank you for listening take care we'll guys hope to see you soon peace